This is a story called The Little Monsters, Chapter 84. Kicker and her family almost move away. Kicker's parents have decided that they want to move away from where they are living so that they can make a fresh start elsewhere. However, they haven't told the kids yet because they're not sure where they want to move to. They're thinking of Australia but they're not sure yet. They don't want to say anything to the kids yet until they know exactly what they want to do. They decided to sit and talk about it thinking that all the kids were out. However, Kika was in her room playing when she heard them talking about moving. She sneaked downstairs and stood outside the living room here again and she heard her parents talking about moving to Australia. She got upset and then she decided to go out and meet the gang. When she got there they could see that something was bothering her. Creeper said to her, Kika, you look upset, what's the matter? I overheard my parents talking and they want to move to Australia. I don't want to go, I like it here, this is my home. You guys are my friends, we're a gang and I don't want to leave you, said Kicker. We don't want you to go either, Kicker, said Stumpy. That day when Kicker went home, her parents called a family meeting. Once everyone was sat down and settled, Kicker's dad said to them, We have something to tell you kids, we have decided to sell off this house and move to Australia. It won't be for a while yet, but we will definitely be going. We need to know what you kids think. I'm not going, this is my home and my school and friends are here, said Kicker. You don't have a choice, Kicker, you're going, like it or not, said Kicker's dad. I'm not going, I'm staying here, said Kicker. Then she burst into tears and ran out of the house to the secret hideout. That night when she went home, her mum said to her, Kicker, sweetheart, we're moving to Australia whether you like it or not. I'm not going, said Kicker. Then she ran out of the house crying again. That night instead of going home, Kicker stayed at the secret hideout. Her parents didn't have a clue where she was, so her mum called the rest of the gang, but they said that they didn't know where she was either. However, as soon as they told their parents that they were going to bed, they climbed out of their bedroom windows and went to the secret hideout, because they knew that Kicker would be there. When they got there, they suspected Kicker was there and she was crying her eyes out because she didn't want to move to Australia. The kids did everything they could to comfort her, but it was no use. The next day, when Kicker went home, her mum said to her, Where have you been, young lady? Me and your dad have been worried sick. I'm not moving to Australia, mum, said Kicker. You don't have a choice. We're all moving to Australia, Kicker. So you're just going to have to get used to it, said Kicker's dad. Kicker burst into tears, wah, wah, wah. Then she said, I'm not going, Dad, because my life is here. All my friends are here, Dad. Then she ran up to her stairs to her room, crying, wah, wah, wah. She spent the rest of the day in her room, crying on and off, and she refused to eat. The next day at school, she was very quiet and she didn't eat a thing. She didn't even want to play or play pranks on people. She just spent most of her time crying. That day when she went home from school, her mum asked her what she wanted for tea. She told her that she didn't want anything. Then her mum said to her, Then her mum said to her, not eating anything and crying all the time isn't going to change anything. We're moving to Australia whether you like it or not. I'm not going mum, I'm not going, said Kicker bursting into tears again, wah wah wah. Then she ran up to her room crying. When her mum went to check on her about an hour later she was gone and so was her suitcase, some of her clothes her tent and other camping stuff. 
Her mum rang all of the gang to see if she was with them, but unfortunately she wasn't. And they said that they didn't know where she was. They told their parents that they were going to look for her and the first place they looked was the swing, but she wasn't there. Then they checked the old skate park and the new one, but she wasn't there. Then they went to their secret hideout, expecting her to be there, but she wasn't and they couldn't find her anywhere. They searched for a bit longer, but it was getting dark and they couldn't find her. So they went back to Bumpy's house and her mum rang Kicker's parents to let them know the, the kid, to let them know that the kids couldn't find Kicker anywhere. Then she took everyone home because they had school the next day. Kicker's parents had already called the police and they spoke to the rest of the gang. The police searched for two days but there was no sign of Kicker anywhere. Even the neighbours joined in the search but no one could find her. Another two days passed but still there was no sign of Kicker. Her parents went on TV to appeal for her to come on but it didn't work. After a whole week there was still no sign of Kicker and her parents were frantic with worry. The rest of the gang were worried about her too and they spent as much time as they could looking for her but they couldn't find her. Two weeks passed and concern for Kicker was getting worse because no one could find her anywhere. However, Creeper remembered about a campsite and the old house that they had stayed in and she said to the others, Hey guys, I think I know where Kicker is. Remember when we all ran away from home because we thought that we were in trouble with the police? If you remember guys, we stayed in an old house and we camped out at that campsite. Well, I reckon the kicker's at one of those places. I don't know about you guys, but I'm not going to school. I'm going to find kicker. That day, the kids went to look for kicker instead of going to school. The first place that they looked was the campsite, and straight away they found kicker. However, she refused to go home because she knew that her parents would make her move to Australia. The kids did everything they could to con convince her to go home, but she just kept crying and saying no. Bumpy sneaked off to find a phone box, and when she found one, she phoned Kicker's parents and told them where she was. She felt really bad, but she knew that she'd done the right thing. When Kicker's parents got there, she said to them, I'm not moving to Australia. Not ever. Her dad said to her, It's okay, sweetheart. We've, it's okay, sweetheart. We've changed our minds. We're not going to Australia. We're not selling our house and moving to a new one either. Now please can you stop this silliness and come home? Kicker and her parents hugged and then they all went home. End of chapter 84. Thanks for watching, guys. Mm.